Hey y'all, welcome to another installment of UNSF Videos. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the full-length requirements to join UNSF, and I'm going to give you guys your first tip and trick. I'll start on the team. UNSF stands for United Nations Special Forces. It's a little bit of a Rainbow Six idea, almost. We're a group of people, and, you know, a special anti-terrorist organization, essentially, that is commanded by the UN. So, our only uh, gear requirements for this is we don't have one solid uniform. All you have to do is select a country that is a part of the UN, and then create, as accurate as possible, a current 2011 loadout for that country, or whatever year it may be. So, you know, if you want to be an American, you can't be Vietnam, no Gulf War, none of that. you got to be modern. You gotta have the Marpat if you want to be a Marine, modern weaponry, modern attachments, modern equipment, that's it. And, you know, a flag patch to tell us who you are. The team patch we're still working on, um, that'll come out sh uh, pretty shortly when we have a final design. We'll make up uh, some sample patches, and I'll show you guys a look, I'll show you all a look, and uh, we'll see what you think on them. Um, Right now, we're just going to use UN peacekeeping patches, the, you know, white UN patches. And then the other very important thing is uh, field in attendance. We won't accept if you are, you know, have a bad attendance record. We won't accept it. You've got to make games. You've got to make practices. Most importantly, you've got to be in good shape. If you're fat and a freaking couch potato, you're going to be useless and we don't want you. you got to be in shape. You gotta keep up with exercise, and you gotta make practices and games. That's it. That's all we ask from you. We're pretty chill dudes. We're good to work with. If you just want to come and roll with us, meet us, you know, meet up with us anytime, LVP South or uh, Poco Loco, just shoot me, Satan, God, or Droberts, a uh, PM, and uh, we'll let you know when we're gonna be there, when we can meet you, you know, stuff like that. And then, uh, that is about it. And uh, like I said in my previous video, we understand budgets, you know, it takes a lot of money to make an accurate loadout for a country. So we understand if you have time constraints to, uh, to create that loadout, but we're not going to wait forever. If you know that you will not be able to make fantastic progress in a modern country accurate loadout within about a year and a half at most, then don't join UNSF. You'll only be kicked. And that is about it. So feel free to join. Shoot me, Satan, God or Driver to PM, and uh, sign up for the team on c3airsoft.com, and uh, we'll review you. See what you see what we think. See if you UNS material. You can meet up with us at one of the fields, and we'll see how it goes. Now today, I also have your first tip and trick. Now. The number one thing to always keep in mind about Airsoft is safety. Why? Number one, you're safe. You're not going to hurt yourself. Because let me tell you, once you lose your vision, you can't get it back. You heard it a million times. Deal with it, follow it, listen to it. All right? But safety in Airsoft also is for the good of our sport. When unsafe actions in Airsoft hit the news, it hurts Airsoft. So don't be dumb. Be safe. I'm going to share with you guys today... The goggles that I actually use while I'm playing. These are Bole Tactical Goggles. They're pretty cheap. I'll put up an exact price in the sidebar. Um, they're fantastic goggles in my opinion. They never fog on me. Unless it's some, you know, this ridiculously humid day. Which then, not much is going to save you. And if you can see, they have this vent up top. Now, you could always remove the phone. I don't because I prefer to have it. You know, it's just that extra little bit to just stop anything from coming up top. Feel free to remove it if you want. It's your vision. Um, but vents work great. Goggles work great. So if you're going to really invest in a good piece of equipment, in my opinion, it's a good gun that is not going to break on you. And it's good eye protection that won't fog and will protect you well. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.